and welcome to Bruce's best walk around for the auction on the 23rd of November. We've got some really nice pieces in in our general sale this week. So uh, keep your eyes open as we go round and uh, we'll show you a few pieces. Yeah, we're really happy that you're watching our videos. Um, we'd like to get to know you a bit better. So if you could drop us a comment on where you're viewing from, this country or abroad, so we can get back to you, that's really nice. On with the walkabout now, there we go. We've got a couple of military uh, mugs there from the, uh, come out of the, um, uh, mess from the uh, military there and there's all sorts of bits and pieces of collectibles now this one is particularly nice this is a gobel buffalo now that's really really nice and I've not seen one of these before not to say that it is uh, round we can see the mark there but it is Terribly nice and something I wouldn't mind having at home myself. Right, then this week we've got lots of silver watches, ordinary watches, all pocket watches, loads of my customers bought, or two customers have bought loads in. And there's a few more on the top. There's interesting modern ones, that's a skeleton clock. Very interesting type. That's all working as you can see. You can see it from the back. There we go. And there she goes. Needs a bit of a wind up, that's all. There we are. See, she's working well. And that's a nice, that's a bit of a weird one, but it's a nice pocket watch. Also got plenty of jewellery in this week. But this one piece, I uh, saw it and I thought, hmm. 1930s, but really, really unusual costume jewellery. And we have this. Now, this thing is a white jade teapot. Obviously, it's not for any sort of use. It's for decoration collectors. But that's a piece of white, pure white jade. So that's a nice little piece for collectors. Now then, if we go over to our artist studio, we just add these in. Now these are a couple of really retro pictures. They're prints, they're in their original frames as they would be when they were purchased. Now this one is Tina. Uh, and um, she's a fine looking girl, right? Now these were extremely retro in the 60s, 70s. And um, anybody who's into, uh, into that era, um, these are lovely. You can put them above your fireplace in your lounge. And I quite fancy uh, Melody. Uh, right, okay, moving on. We've got this old military safe, strong box, whatever you call it. And the lock's a bit bloody scared. There we go. Oh, can't get it open. But that's a strong box thing for keeping documents. This would be a Victorian uh, steamer trunk, but this is the one that was not going the luggage underneath. This would be in your uh, in your apartment or in your cabin right now great traveling trunk uh, and it's got another piece that goes in there for your ties a couple of clips up there but it's a really nice one now then this stool victorian mahogany solid 
and a real talking piece in your house. Tapestry, obviously, on the top, but a real talking piece on your, in your lounge or your house. Now we've got some uh, G-Plan chairs. There's all sorts in this week, general sale. So it is really general. There we are. If you're doing any digging any holes outside your house, you can have an oil lamp, and I think it's got the stuff in it. Feels like it has. Yep, that's all inside. That's the little uh, burner for the oil lamp. There's air rifles there. If you want to shoot you one. Uh, TVs. Uh, now, this is an interesting piece. Now, I had a look at this when it came in, and it looks like um, a gaucho's whip, right, for a riding. You put that over your wrist, and you're just flicking your horse or whatever. But when I had a good look at it, I realised that this is made out of a, para a parasol handle. There. That's the parasol handle, and it's absolutely exquisite. Now, personally, I think it is silver, but I can't find a mark on it. It's also Chinese because of the engraving marks just there. That bit there, you can see that? Looks very much like Chinese to me. Anyway, that's a really lovely piece. Then we got all sorts, Bible here, big old family Bible. Student lamps, again, we always have a student lamp. And there we are, Concord. Come fly me. There we are, that's the Concord on brass. Nice old light uh, clock there. Uh, Murano Sweeties. Wouldn't try crunching one of them though. That would break your teeth. But they're all sweets and they're all made by Murano. Uh, little old toolbox. Now this is an interesting, this is an album of photographs. Not postcards, or there are some postcards, but mainly it's photographs. Now that one is these are Welsh lace makers back in the middle of, of the beginning of the last century, certainly before the First World War. But can you see these little cushions? That's where they've got the lace hanging over the top. You see they've got little tables and they go up and then you have the cushion on the top and these are the people that make the beautiful lace. Now then, we've got a porthole cover. This isn't a porthole, it's a porthole cover. Right. That's the bit that slams down. You do it up, tighten it up inside. And it is made by Thompson's Side Lights. It's got its registration number and everything on it. It's... Uh, Pattern number, but that is the glass off a porthole. Now then, somebody's bought in a whole load of chairs, some of which need a little bit of repair, but most of them are absolutely fine. But these sort of things um, were retired at one point, and then somebody's done it. But these would make a lovely, really lovely uh, bedroom chair, and you've got a pair there. Another pair there, little lace making lamp table, and another pair of chairs. So these are quite nice. Now then, for the golfer. Oh, he's really good. Oh well, now then, somebody who's looking for uh, a, a gift for their husband who's uh, into golfing. These are by Hugh Taylor, limited edition prints. Right, there's that one. This one, another Hugh Taylor. And these are limited edition prints. Now these are all from the beginning of the last century, 1900s, 
that one's a bit later no no it's not it's 1886 that one uh hugh taylor all right it's painted that then obviously they've all been uh printed and they're very popular there's three prints all in one lot for the um for the golfer this lot is all patterns now patterns dressmaking patterns baby's clothes patterns children's patterns all this sort of stuff sells really really well in the boot sales uh, there's a load of material in there as well but that's all one lot so for the hobbyist crafting hobbyist that's great uh, these for anybody who speaks French this is a whole pile from the 1950s of Paris Match which is a very popular paper it's a bit like our London Illustrated use but as you can see it's all full of pictures and relevance to Paris and uh, around that time and uh, there we are so there's a whole pile of those if you speak French or you're learning French that'd be nice uh, two beautiful watercolours here now they are by um, uh, Albert Bose but they are fine looking watercolours in English that's an English um, two English scenes and there we go now what have we got here we've got oh look at that now this is a because it's very heavy is a original bedpan this is not one of those ones that you buy for the souvenir this is an original one you can see how rough it is it wouldn't be as bad as that that was a souvenir done and to go with it it's a souvenir shop one so you can tell the difference on that. This has been used a lot as a bedpan, right? They're not the most popular thing at the moment, but hang that up alongside your fireplace and it'll look really rustic. We've got this cast iron enamel. Uh, this is probably 1920s, 1930s. Looking at, it's been recabled, but it looks a bit... But this is quite heavy, as you can see. Now, it's made of cast iron. It's enamelled, right? It's got a handle on the top. And it's got all the holes in the back here. So the heat comes out and goes round into the room. But as a collectible piece, that's absolutely gorgeous. But as I say, always be warned about the wiring on these things. Because sometimes they, they're not right. They should be checked. Now then. This piece, here we are. It uh, looks like an apprentice piece. It's not, it's manufactured. But it's a jewelry box, there we are. But it's made to look like an apprentice piece. So that's very nice, that's the sort of thing that we do. Oh, look, here we are, picnic. You wanna go on a picnic? 1960s, nice Singer electric sewing machine from the 1920s, 30s. There we go. This one works, but it's electric. It's got its seals on, so we know where it's from. And it's got a case uh, lid. We've got loads of furniture, all sorts. Bar stools, chairs, tables. That's a really old table. That's Georgian, that one. Looks like it, but that would make a nice table or a console table. You could take the flaps off. This lot here, we've got these fire dogs. Now these are old, they're probably Georgian. I would think they are, right? These Georgian, these Victorian. They're copper, but they're same fire dogs. And then what you do with these, if you didn't already know, is you stand that in the fireplace and then you rest these on it. So that's a good idea. Right, okay, moving on. Oh look, there we are, German. It's got a name, yes, we've got a name there. And this is a gold 
plated dinner set for six. No, it's not, it's for 12. Yeah, that's a set for 12. Look at this, lovely load of china in the kitchen. Uh, all sorts of uh, little dishes and uh, plates and things. And they come from Burbeck Ceramics in Swansea. Swanage, sorry. Uh, but some really nice looking shapes and pieces. Uh, teapot. You know, if you've got a, uh, if you've got a um, nice dresser, nice pine dresser, which I've got one coming in soon, a nice pine dresser in your kitchen, you can have that on there, a bit of kitchen alia, with all this lot on it, and it would look splendid. Be the envy of your friends. Now then, for the man, for his man cave or the garage, uh, Chop saw. Really nice looking, good uh, bike saw, chop saw. Now, with these small blocks, we have this small lot of glass. Now, you quite often find that um, when you go around any auction, if you have a look at these, you find that sometimes there's a little um, gold nugget in now that one's quite pleasant it's uh, supposed to be a silhouette but it's only it is but this one is actually Caithness Scotland so that's before Caithness moved down to uh, Kings Lynn uh, this is the Scottish uh, workers and they make these beautiful uh, paperweights that's that one and from the same factory, but a different manufacturer, this is a Wedgwood squirrel. Now, it's quite a nice piece. Now, I think this came from the same place. It's not marked. Can't find a mark on it. But I am sure that that is a Wedgwood piece. And that's a rare one, because it's a rare colour. That yellow like that, and it's also a nice big lumpy piece. But we've got, uh, you can quite often find little nuggets. There we are. Now, that's Dresden. There we are. That's Dresden candlestick. Now, there's a pair of these. So, buy all that lot and get yourself two expensive Dresden candlesticks. Probably worth about 30 quid. But with that lot, you'll pick them up for a fiver. Now then, this is my mate. This is Cuddles. The elephant, right, that came in last week. Now, it's a table, glass top table, as you can see. A lovely, lovely looking elephant. Look at all this old wrinkly skin on him, look. And his trunk holding it up. Okay, now this piece looks as weird as it goes and you think that it had something to do with the kitchen and you'd be totally wrong because this is an autoclave stirrer. Underneath here goes a big pot and inside that pot it's pressurised and heated and that's the stirrer that stirs it up while it's going round. Now, not being a... Uh, professor or a uh, scientist um, exactly what they do with that I don't know I've only got the basic idea have a pot hot under pressure a bit like pressure cooker and that thing goes around the top and stirs it up now that was made in, made in about 1985 but we've tested it and it still works absolutely fine you, should, you have to supply your own pot there we go, and that's pretty much everything from the auction this week. We haven't done the big furniture or the, uh, some other stuff. There's loads more lots to come. We've even got a boat trailer out there for a 14-foot boat. So if you need a boat trailer, give us a ring. Come down and see us.
and especially tick the like like that and subscribe it don't cost you anything to subscribe and leave us a comment Right, as always, the uh, catalogue comes out on a Thursday at half past four. Now, if anything has caught your eye, go into the catalogue, have a look. Thursday, half past four. Friday, all day, eight till five is a viewing. And as you know, the auction is at 10 o'clock on Saturday, the 23rd of November. But we'll give you two hours before the auction starts to have a little browse around. Now then, for all you people on your laptops and tablets who want to uh, bid through uh, the internet, please go to easyliveauctions.com forward slash Harrison's. And I'll see you here, folks.